CVA's Acura Series, Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being brought to you by Third Regiment Game Calls. Friends, family, and faith in the outdoors. One call at a time. All right, everybody, it's time for this week's Pictures of the Week. They're being brought to you by our friends at Flowers Garden Center and Deer Processing. One more weekend, guys, and they're going to be opening their doors on the 26th. So <laughs> all those opening weekend deer, get them down there to Flowers, and be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. All right, our first picture here. This is J.D. <laughs> Butler and his son, David, and they're out getting ready for deer season. I imagine, Richard, we'll probably see J.D. down there at the tournament this weekend, cool. I'd say. He's usually down there running around with them. He's He's been involved with the Bass Nation for a while. We appreciate that picture. Right there's what it's all about. That, yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. <laughs> uh, this picture is, too. This is Wesley Perry and his dad, Alan. And this is, uh, no, wait, I'm, I'm on the wrong picture, guys. I apologize. This is David Townsend and his son, Jacob. And this is their first ever double that they got this past spring. They got a double on turkey. So That's congratulations awesome. on that That's one, guys. Awesome. All right, now we're back to where I was supposed to be. This is Wesley Perry and his dad, Alan, with a deer that Wesley got this past season. And guys, it, that juvenile hunt will be here before we know it. And that's one of my favorite weekends every year. So we look forward to those pictures coming in. <clears throat> congratulations on that one. And I thought this was a really pretty picture. This yeah. is Oak. And uh, Oak is owned by Bo Hunter, and that, that is his owner. And Oak comes from Sporting Life Kennels in Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, but it is almost that, waterfowl season, too. It'll be here before we know it. Uh, but, yeah, just a beautiful picture right there, guys. We appreciate y'all sending that in. Y'all can send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Parkway in Nashville, Tennessee. Or get them to us on Facebook or at that email right there on the screen. And we'll get them on the show here just as quick as we can. All right, welcome back to the studio. Well, Mike, the uh, y'all's first day, you did a lot of calling, a little bit of missing, but it was kind of slow. And I'm going to tell uh, you, a whole lot of sweat. A whole lot of sweat. <laughs> it, it was, it was so really, really the hot. next morning, y'all head back, and it's actually, it appears to be a lot cooler, but it is really foggy. It was cooler, it was foggy. Our visibility probably at some, most of the morning was probably not over 20 or 30 feet. And we had a set where we had a lot of dogs talking to us. And we tried to move closer to us, but we're not sure in the fog they may have gotten around us and winded us. You never know. All except a few. They're, they're a little smarter out there <laughs> yeah, than, than we are. are. Yeah. Well, let's go on over to the second segment of the Coyote Hunt. It's not a coyote this morning. We got some cows out here, got quite a bit of fog. We're gonna to try to set up on this draw right here, going down into a bottom with the Flint River out in front of us. It's gonna be a little bit before we're able to see or to shoot, but this is gonna be a pretty good spot with the water, grass. Gonna take some eyes with this high grass though. Boys are chomping at the bit. They're ready to get this set going.
way. He's moving to the right. Had one moving to the right at an angle. That was probably 50 yards in front of him. He just flashed through a little fence. How many yards in front of him? It's probably 50 yards in front of him. Yeah, he was moving to the right. I just saw his head move again, did you see? That one is locked up. Which way is he moving? I think that was a lot closer shot than I had yesterday. <laughs> a lot smaller dog. Yeah. Two male guys down here in central Georgia. I started to say central Florida, central Georgia. And uh, really appreciate getting to come out and, and hunt with these guys. And thanks to uh, to Parks and, uh, and to Colt and to uh, Big Love for getting us down here. And Matt called my dog in. Great shot, Chris. This was Woods with a rifle. Shotguns are uh, back in the four wheelers. <laughs> but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a single pellet shotgun out here today. But a great shot, great weather. It's kind of held us off a little bit this morning with the uh, fog. Yeah, the fog held us off. We couldn't see anything, so we kind of had to get up in these woods to try to get where we could see. But we're gonna we're gonna try to do one more set. We'll see how we can do. Maybe the sun's lifted off some of that fog. So we. Maybe that'll help us a little bit. I think so. Hearing some dogs this morning uh, replying to the calls. So maybe we're going to get on them. This was set number three in the woods about uh, about 8 o'clock. I, I know. Thanks, guys. One last fawn killer. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back to the studio. Well, you guys result. made made a, made a good <laughs> shot on that second one there, didn't he? So Tell you what, that uh, that one there that's up on the hill, about 450 yards. That was an educated dog. He didn't move. He knew not to move. come down through there, there didn't he? On, yeah. I believe I believe he might have been hunted or called in a yeah, time or two. Yeah, hadn't he? I think he was educated, but. Uh, Tell you what, there's a lot of dogs down there. Like I said, we just had really tough weather. Yeah. But uh, you heard them. You, you still you, had a good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Had, we had a lot of time. <laughs> so what, we tell what people, we I mean. show you is that I fish, tell you what. Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> and I mean, you know, we'll get more into it, but we're, we're weekend guys just like everybody else. That's right. We don't have five or six days to put a, you know, that's what happened. That's yes, just how it is. happened. You had a slow weekend. You had a good time, you know. Well, guys, we're going to go on over and do this week's product of the week. This week's product of the week has been sponsored by Caney Fork Outdoors. You guys can find them at cfoutdoors.com or get off I-40 at the Center Hill Dam exit there and go to the bottom of the hill. You'll find them at the Big Rock Market and they can take care of all your kayaking needs. Go in there and be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. Alright guys, I've got a brand new product here tonight from our buddy Chris Snow over at Snow Spin Baits. And this is called the Magic Crawl. And I am really excited to try these out. Um, I've got the watermelon red here. This is the sweet potato. He's got multiple different colors I've got here that he's going to be offering these in. We've got a weed guard, uh, you know, that's on these. But, but what does that say right there, Mike? What, say, my that, favorite part. That would say, oh, made in the USA. Made in the that's USA. Right. USA. <laughs> that's right. So, guys, you're hearing about a lot of tackle shortage and things right now. Your local guys are still putting it out. And Chris makes a absolutely high quality bait. We love using them. Y'all can find him at snowspinbaits.com and, and you can find him there. He's also on Facebook. Go over and find Chris Snow. And he is a center hill fishing machine, guys. So uh, we just want to throw that in there. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to open up the phone lines for you and we'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters. Mm -hmm. 